Meanwhile, in Game 2 at the Arima Velodrome, third place defence force was aiming to get closer to the top two when they met an inconsistent Caledonia AIA. Caledonia AIA is slowly climbing out of the bottom three in the TTPFL and they sat in eighth position when they met the defence force on match day 17. The soldier sailors and airmen had a chance to open the scoring, but somehow Shaquille Bertrand failed to deposit as Denzel Fur failed to take the cross ball. Then there were all sorts of appeals. But no call from referee Nikolai Nyron. Caledonia skipper Carly Mitchell was fit to continue the battle. As the first 45 minute period ended at a dusty velodrome, with a score tied at nil-nil. In the 62nd minute, Cali was caught napping at the back and Brent Sam made them pay. One nil defense force. Kaim Thomas felt the eye of his teammates and the crowd as he neglected to pull the trigger to consolidate the army lead here. As time waned, Caledonia coach Jerry Moe made a three-man substitution. Then, off the corner, four minutes into added on time, Philip Tinto climbed well to beat Christopher Bigot in the defense force goal to tie up the scores at one. That is how it would stay. Caledonia AIA grabbing a point to see it as the military men remain in third but are now four points adrift of police FC. Wayne Cunningham. TDG Sport.